South Korea's biggest energy exhibition begins. The three-day event is held with the Net Zero Expo for global industry insiders to discuss ways to achieve carbon neutrality. It's also a place for companies to showcase their latest technologies. Lee Hyun provides a sneak peek of the 2022 Korea Energy Show. The world is currently facing the biggest energy crisis since the oil shocks in the 1970s. With ongoing natural gas supply shortage problems and geopolitical risks, the International Energy Agency says the crisis is expected to last for years. South Korea's biggest energy exhibition, the 2022 Korea Energy Show, kicked off on Wednesday where industry experts share information on renewable energy products and technologies. This year's event is held along with the 2022 Net Zero Expo and International Conference on Carbon Neutrality of the Industry, all hosted by the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy. More than 350 companies are taking part to showcase their latest products and technologies. LG Electronics exhibits highly energy efficient home appliances like AI air conditioners and washing machines. The air conditioner we have here has adopted an AI engine. It automatically detects what kind of space it's in and finds the most effective air conditioning function to consume energy efficiently. Hyundai Motors hydrogen-powered electric vehicles and drones, and SK Echo Plan's energy transition solution technology, which can transform renewable energy into electricity and hydrogen, are also on display. To achieve net zero carbon emissions, an official from the Korea Industry Intelligentization Association says a digital transformation is needed. A digital transformation is a must when it comes to tracking our carbon footprint. That's why we are trying to achieve green by digital. Other than R&D development, digitalization efforts are needed to effectively measure and evaluate actions needed for net zero. Not only companies, but citizens too, can contribute to achieving carbon neutrality, just like this energy bike, which can generate power using kinetic energy. The government also sees the event as an opportunity to encourage people to participate in reducing energy consumption. Lee Dae-hyun, Arirang News.